You're okay. Not hurt at all. No, I'm, I'm fine. What's going to happen to him? Hopefully they'll lock him up and throw away the key. That's up to the CPS. Come on, we still need to get all your registration papers. Uh, I've got them, Dad. You have? Martin gave them to me. I, I came here of my own accord. No one made me. I want to play for Canley FC, my team. See. No, you don't. That bloke was right. Everyone wants a piece of me. It takes guts to say you can't have it. Everyone okay? I do solemnly declare that I know not of any lawful impediment why I, Honey Louise Harmon, may not be joined in marriage to Scott William Burnett. Scott's a murderer! Why can't you see that? If you like it so much, why can't you help me to stop this? Because I've got no right to. You're right. I'm wasting my time. If there's anyone here present who knows a reason why these persons cannot lawfully marry, then declare it now. Did you really think he'd get away with this? What's he doing here? Stop it! Oh. You were brilliant back there, Gabriel. You really got through to him. Martin Cormac's got a lot to answer for. He let down a kid, they stay let down for life. You know about that, don't you? Maybe I do. It's OK, you can talk to me about it. What is it? I'm just not sure about this. About us. <sighs> Gabriel, it was one case, that's all. But we make a good team. Let's not lose that. No. Let's not. It's just bruised. He's fine. Your colleague's taking Campbell off to cool down. Look, he was close behind. You all right there, mate? What is going on, Yvonne? Why was Steve here? It's not what you're thinking. You didn't want any of this to happen. I'm sorry. I have to get on. And in the circumstances... Just two more minutes, please. We're running late. Next couple are waiting. I am sorry. <laughs> Honey! You still want to arrest me, copper? No, I never want to see you again. Don't worry, you won't. I wish I could believe that. No, I mean it. I've done what I came to do. I think she got the message, don't you? Oh, yeah, you made your case very convincingly. I'm sure Honey will think over carefully and decide you're completely off your head. Yeah, we'll see. Just don't expect a long and happy marriage. Those two are doomed. You know it. Steve didn't do it deliberately. Yeah, but he did tell Greg. It was an accident. He's been trying to undo it all day. Oh, thanks, Yvonne. You could have warned me. We 
thought we could stop him. So that's why he came. It wasn't because you wanted to see me get married. Honey, I'm sorry. How stupid was I to think you'd be here for me today when nobody else is? This was the simplest wedding I could have had, and it still goes wrong. Can arrange another one? I don't want to arrange another one. Well, I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Yeah, let's get out of here. Honey, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. No, if I, if I just waited, I could have given you a proper wedding. I didn't want that. Why do I have to meet you now? A year or two on and they'd have left us alone. Yeah, well, I didn't help matters. What are you talking about? You're the only thing that makes it bearable. Really? Yeah, of course. Honey, yesterday in that cell, you were all I could think about. You know, even if they charged me, I knew I'd be OK. As long as I had you. Well, nothing's changed, is it? Me and you, we're still here. What do you mean? We came here to get married, so let's do it. One more, please. I'm sorry. I'm a police officer. Now, I insist you open these doors and marry me. As long as you're quick. <gasps> Come on. Sir. It'll have to be quick. I've been stuck Sir. in traffic. Yeah, we've been trying to get hold of you. I left my mobile phone behind. Sir, your wife's been involved in an accident. You need to go to St Hugh's. An accident? What are you saying? Are they hurt? You really need to go to the hospital, sir. What's happening? It's all right. Denise is here, she's got a fractured pelvis, and your daughter is in the operating theatre. What? Yeah, she's broken her leg and lost a lot of blood and didn't regain consciousness since the crash. <sighs> Where's Malcolm? Um, uh, look, the paramedics tried to help him at the scene of the crash and I'm sorry, 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 but he never made it. Was he? Did he suffer? He never woke up. I need to see him. Of course. And they are. There'll be somebody I need to speak no, to. No, no, we'll go to the operating theatre in a minute. Denise is waiting for you. Right. Right. Well, listen to me. Denise doesn't know about Markham. And they're waiting at the moment on the x-rays and the scan. Doctors think it best to keep her calm. Were beautiful. Scott wrote them himself. The same ones he used when he married Karen. Greg's gone. I'm pretty sure he won't bother you again. Thanks. I'd better have a word with Honey. No, I think you've caused enough trouble. I just want to clear the air. No, what you want doesn't come into it. Honey's not your concern. We work together. You can't stop us being mates. Have a look over there, Steve. She's my wife now. There's no need for you anymore. Excuse me. <laughs> 